Yes, uh, hello, this is Coordinator601 and I'm doing another Gundam model review. Today I'll be doing the AL Strike Gundam Master Grade, 1 to 100 scale. And, well, it's from the Gundam Seed series. Uh, well, start off with the colors. Seeing how this is a uh, good guy Gundam. This Gundam is a color is majority of white, as you can see. Around it has some blue, red, and a little bit of yellow right here. And as you'll see in almost all good guy Gundams, red, white, blue, and yellow will be their main colors. And you know, stickers. This blue sticker on the forehead and the eyes and you might not be able to see it very well but I actually detailed this guy and uh, yes I know you'll notice on the shoulder and on the front skirt I have the insignia of the black knights from the show Code Gear. cause like you know I'm a fan of that show and you know you might notice throughout the video that I have made a small tribute to Code Geass using this model starting off with this Black Knight's insignia okay articulation head goes forwards and backwards not very much though uh... it'll go 360 oh yes yes and I forgot to mention the eyes are stickers as well and it comes with decals uh, all around uh, arms move up that high, move out of the in and out of the body about that high. They will rotate 360. Um, rotate below the shoulder. Arm and elbows are double jointed. Wrist wiggles and rotates. And uh, the thumb is the thumb can move. It, ha it has articulation. The, f the the index finger can move and these three fingers are here they can move as well they not like the Zaku too where like you know the fingers can actually bend instead of just move but then you know um it can go up and down a little it doesn't go 360 because the side skirt the front skirts actually get in the way front skirts move separately side skirts move up a little forwards well yeah a little bit forward Back skirts move together. Feet goes forward about that high. Back about that high. Knees are double jointed. The ankle guard. I'll call this the ankle guard because you know it covers more about the ankle. The ankle guard moves, and the fo the foot can move, and it doesn't rotate. You can go forwards and backwards, and the toe can bend down, bend like that. That's that's pretty nice. Accessories start with the ones on the mobile suit itself. The armor Schneider, which I I like, because the one to one forty four scale doesn't come with an armor Schneider. You have to buy it separately. This is a very nice feature that they added. I like it. Uh, another piece, another accessory is the shield, and also you will notice right here I wrote Black Knights on the shield. I know, I know, it's it's kind of stupid, but you know, <laughs> I was bored. Uh, just clips onto the arm like that. But first, what I do is I make sure it's holding the handle, and then I. I make sure it's holding the handle right here, and I clip it onto the arm, and then make and then have it grip the handle. Handle. It's pretty easy right there. So it's a very nice shield. It's colorful. Um, and then it has a beam rifle. You can see a scope in here. Uh, I don't. I have a little complaint about this. 
and uh, remember how I mentioned in the 2.0 model it has a little slit a little peg in the hand to keep keep uh, the rifle from falling out this one doesn't so this the handle can fall out very easily with with the LCXC it doesn't it doesn't very really hold it very well it just wobbles like that but then you know I, I guess I'm okay with it I've I have, I've only I've only had the model for three years but then and it's still it's still pretty stiff so it's only the hand that I have a small problem with and um, finally its main accessory as a master grade model kit is the AO Striker Pack. The AO Striker Pack itself has some articulation. These thrusters here move forwards and backwards. The uh, lightsaber, like, no, not the lightsaber, the beam saber can move, but it's very stiff and I might break it. The wings used to move, but then uh, they got very loose. They wouldn't stay up anymore, so I decided to. Uh, glue them together. And again, you can notice I wrote Black Knights on the uh, on the wings. Yes, I know. Yes, make fun of me. I don't, I don't really care. I, th I still think the show, the Code Gauss show is cool. And, you know, whatever. That's me, so. Just attach it. What you do is you attach it to the... There's a small hole in the back. You do attach it like that. And, uh, you know, like that. Looks pretty cool. Uh, and also, it has beam sabers right here. They can come off and it comes with beams. Here, two beams. You know, kind of just sticks in like that. Goes right into the hand. And also, the Master Grade Ale Strike comes with a catapult stand right here and it comes with a little wire that shows it like you know flying off and then the wire is kind of like coming off it's you know but I don't know that's what it looks like and you could just stick it in here stick the L strike in here it's a bit tough but yeah I remember when I first saw Gundam Seed, I didn't really like it, because I'm like, oh, what's a Gundam Seed, eh? But then, you know, as I watched it, it kinda, I, I kind of grew to like it, and there you go, that's the Ail Strike on its stand. It's very nice. Also, it came with a small figure of Kira Yamato, but then I think I lost it somewhere. And I would say it's, oh yes, yes, I forgot. Another thing, the cockpit opens up, but I'm not going to open it because it's really hard and I'm not going to, like, um, pain myself with that. And I think that's just about it for today's review, and see you guys next time.